Good morning, guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a rooster because some of you guys loved the video I posted yesterday and you guys were all asking about it. So here we go. It's pretty simple. So first off, we start off with the beak. It's an upside down U. I always start in the center of the page. And then in order to close that beak, I just draw a very round triangle. Now I'm going to draw two horizontal lines. This is part of the beak mouth. And then I'm going to close that by drawing a triangle or just connecting it to the beak. There you go. Next, I'm going to draw opposite uh, para parentheses, excuse me, parentheses. This is for the eyes. This is a guideline for you to know where you want to draw the eyes. But before you do that, you now have to draw the comb of the rooster, which is the, the top part of their head. And all it is is a bunch of M's or upside down W's. And they're organic lines. This one I'm going to bring up straight and then have it flap down just to give it a little bit more character. So now you know where you can draw the eyes. I like to keep the eyes within this guideline, so if you need to, you can draw yourself a little guideline, two vertical lines. And now I'm going to draw another parentheses opposite of each other, going the opposite direction. And then I'm gonna close that in by drawing an oval, and this is the eye. And I can tell this eye is a little bit um, saggy, but that's okay, it gives it character. And now I'm going to draw parentheses actually facing each other now. That's the pupil as the black part of the eye. I'm just gonna color that in quickly so you know. So now all you have to do is you can add more uh, C's. These are backward C's. This is just the eye wrinkle. This allows the eyes to attach to the comb. And you do the same underneath. It's just a bunch of U's or C's, however you see it. I use letters a lot to decode different shapes. <clears throat> I think it helps a lot. And next I am going to do round parentheses around the mouth. And then I'm going to use some jagged lines to connect that. And you can add some more jagged lines up here to make it look a little bit more realistic. And now I'm going to draw what's called a waddle. And a lot of times I just draw a straight line going down from the tip of the beak. And then I curl it up so it's a big U and you can kind of make it organic on the side. One is always a little bit longer than the other. There you go. And now I just take organic lines and I just extend it out. <laughs> this one, this is a funny looking chicken. If you want to, you can add eyelashes. It's a girl rooster. You can be anything you want in this world. And so when you paint, oh, I need to attach something here because the head is a little off. There we go. Now she's fully attached. We're going to call this one Bertha. Uh, B, I'm going to do it with an E. Bertha. <laughs> and her nickname is Birdie. <laughs> So when you actually color this though, um, you can do different things. You can just, you can use actual colored pencil, but I always love painting because I feel like it actually is faster than coloring in with markers per se or with um, colored pencils. So when you paint, you're just gonna dip your paintbrush in the paint and then I just go like this and then I dip, dip in two different colors and keep on going with the dashes. Um, that's for the fur, or excuse me, not the fur, that's for the feathers. <laughs> it's early in the morning, give me a break. And I always paint the red parts first. So if I were you, make sure you paint the waddle, which is this. Paint that first. And then also the comb or the head. And then after that, I do the wrinkles or the eyelids. So second would be eyelids. And then after that, I do the beak. You can do the beak if you want. I The last video I showed you, I did the feathers, but it's up to you. I like kind of doing everything in the center first. So then the third would be the beak. And then the fourth would be the feathers, not the fur. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Please make some chickens or roosters with your with your family and post some pictures. I'd love to see them. All right, take care. Bye.